baby. The Not first be scandal anymore. was with the first baby. Correct. The one in Vegas. Yes. So these other scandals. It's another one in the office. She pregnant again. Correct. Her heart has his feet to the fire because he is now being accused of cheating on his wife, Aniko. Um, if you guys don't know, one of his ex staff members went to. She's the woman at the center of the Kevin Hart extortion scandal. I'm not an extortionist. I'm not a stripper. Here we go again, folks. The Kevin Hart saga unfolding once more. The perpetual cycle of controversy seems unbroken. Are we witnessing a persistent pattern of infidelity? And has Kevin Hart truly ceased his unfaithful actions towards Aniko? Is this the final straw for Aniko? Or is there more to this story? Hollywood assistants are often the keepers of the juiciest secrets. And Kevin Hart's ex-assistant, Maisha Shakes, has chosen to spill the beans. In response, Kevin has taken legal action against both Maisha and Tasha Kay for their revealing interview. What exactly did Maisha disclose, and how will this impact Kevin's personal life and public image? The lawsuit suggests an attempt to silence the revelations, but the question remains, what is Aniko's perspective on her husband's exposure? Is this the breaking point that will prompt her to reconsider her relationship with Kevin Hart? Before we go any further, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now let's get going. You heard noises? Uh -huh. Yes. I don't know what kind of, but it was I told Aniko that Kevin is cheating on me with the girl named Mix Morgan. She's his flight attendant. She's on his plane. Does Kevin have a game? See when Kevin Hart, when Kevin Hart cheated, yeah. mm -hmm. obviously his one was, I found it weird because Which the one? story was mad extreme. The yeah, one he broke, he broke mm -hmm. his back. The one no, Before he no, did no, no, that, that one. Tasha Kay managed to secure an interview with Kevin Hart's ex-assistant. And the revelations were nothing short of scalding. The title alone hinted at an explosive expose, setting the stage for a riveting disclosure of insider information. As it read, Kevin Hart's personal assistant tells all. Gambling addict, habitual cheater, paying millions to a man to take DUI charges for him, and framing best friend of 30 years in a fake extortion plot. Honey, the former PA went deep into the details. And first of all, as for why she even reached out to Tasha, Maisha was like, there's a time for Hollywood to hear this story, especially because a lot of people are locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. But you have to protect the person you're working for. Following the interview, Maisha delved into the details of Kevin's infidelity, asserting that he had been involved with multiple women throughout the entirety of his relationship with Aniko. This isn't the first time Kevin has faced cheating scandals. In 2017, he admitted to cheating on Aniko with Montia Sabag while she was eight months pregnant with their first child. Back then, Kevin addressed the extortion attempts that ensued, and he publicly acknowledged his wrongdoing. In numerous interviews, including one on The Breakfast Club, he expressed sincere apologies and took responsibility for his actions, making it clear that Aniko held him accountable for his indiscretions. The scandals. It's another one in the office. She pregnant again. Correct. Kevin Hart's journey of redemption during the scandal took an unexpected turn when he collaborated with J. Cole, appearing in the music video for Kevin's Heart. In the video, Kevin portrayed himself, navigating a day where news of the infidelity scandal broke. Encountering reactions of disdain and temptations from women in various public settings, the culmination of the video takes Kevin to a bathroom where a fellow man advises him on the human aspect of imperfection and the opportunity to learn from mistakes. I'm not going to also allow a person to, to have financial gain off of my mistakes. And in this particular situation, that's what was attempted. I said I'd rather fess up to my mistakes. However, the sincerity of Kevin's apologies remains a topic of scrutiny. The apologies made in 2017 could be perceived as genuine remorse. Yet the recent revelations from his former assistant, Maisha, suggest a continuation of unfaithful behavior into 2020. Maisha became aware of Kevin's actions when the parking attendant and security guard alerted her to him entering his office with different women. Notably, there was a primary side chick, a former flight attendant named Connor Morgan, who had previously worked on Kevin's flights. Despite others being involved, everyone in the office apparently knew about her prominent role. Maisha, acting in support of Aniko,
took it upon herself to inform her, providing photographic evidence of Kevin's involvement with Connor Morgan. The intrigue deepens, as Maisha disclosed an incident where she walked in on Kevin cheating with an employee at the office, adding another layer of complexity to the unfolding narrative. The question lingers, were Kevin's apologies in 2017 a genuine reflection of remorse, or was he merely regretful about getting caught? The revelations from 2020 paint a different picture, suggesting a continuation of infidelity that Kevin had publicly acknowledged and apologized for earlier. Um, and I just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a moment when you, when you know you're wrong and there's no excuses for your wrong behavior. Um, at the end of the day, man, I just simply got to do better. The web of scandal surrounding Kevin Hart takes a more complex turn with allegations from Maisha suggesting that Kevin may have fathered a child through infidelity, adding the possibility of offspring with his DNA being out there. The revelations didn't stop there. Maisha also unveiled Kevin Hart's serious gambling problem, particularly his penchant for poker. According to her, the situation escalated to the point where Kevin depleted his payroll resulting in him having to issue half checks to his employees. Recalling the 2017 scandal, when it was reported that Kevin's former friend, Jonathan Todd Jackson, planted a camera to allegedly extort him, a new twist emerges. JT, now providing information to Tasha, claims that it was all a setup, with no extortion taking place. Further layers of intrigue surround accusations that Kevin paid someone $4 million to take the blame for a DUI incident. The situation appears increasingly messy, with Kevin Hart responding vehemently by filing a lawsuit against both Tasha and Maisha. The lawsuit encompasses charges of civil extortion and invasion of privacy, with Kevin alleging that Tasha's camp had informed his representative in November about a damaging interview that could harm his reputation. Moreover, Kevin is suing Maisha for breach of contract and defamation, signaling his determination to defend his name against what he perceives as false accusations and breaches of trust. The legal battle promises to bring further revelations and shed light on the tangled web of allegations surrounding Kevin Hart. The plot thickens as details emerge about Tasha Kay's alleged demand for a $250,000 ransom from Kevin Hart to prevent the release of the damaging interview. In response to this, Kevin took legal action, contacting the police and issuing a cease and desist order to Tasha Kay, urging her not to publish the interview. The complaint highlights the existence of a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, between Kevin and his assistant, underscoring that broadcasting the interview would be considered intentional interference with contractual relations. It is a time for Hollywood to hear this story, especially because a lot of people are locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. Mm -hmm. But you have to protect the person you're working for. Kevin's lawsuit contends that in addition to violating the NDA, the interview contained false and defamatory statements about him and misrepresented certain legal disputes he had been involved in. Specific false claims mentioned in the lawsuit include the assertion that Kevin recorded a video of an encounter and that he faced criminal charges related to that alleged incident. The legal battle is shaping up to address not only the potential breach of the NDA, but also the veracity of the statements made in the interview, emphasizing Kevin's commitment to protecting his reputation from what he perceives as damaging and untrue allegations. The intricacies of this legal dispute promise to unravel further as the case progresses. The complexity deepens as Maisha, in her conversation with Tasha, acknowledged signing agreements with Kevin Hart, including a non-disclosure agreement. However, she claimed that her NDA had unspecified loopholes that permitted her to discuss certain aspects of her former boss. Kevin Hart's lawsuit vehemently disputes this assertion, alleging that there were no such loopholes that would allow Maisha to divulge details about his personal life. The lawsuit asserts that Maisha will not be able to evade the consequences of violating the promises made in the agreements she signed. I came in one day. I don't know if anything happened, but but there was somebody in his office, and I was heading to mine because somebody just put so a you TV got there on my early. wall. Correct. Someone was supposed to put a TV on my wall. Okay. And I came in, and I walked right back out, and I was like, whatever is happening in there, I know it's not good. I didn't see. The scandal has ignited discussions about integrity, with some questioning the ethical standards of those involved. 
On another front, public attention has turned towards Aniko, Kevin Hart's wife, with a prevailing sentiment suggesting that she might be aware of his infidelity but chooses to stay. The notion that Aniko, having once been a side chick herself, is seemingly unfazed by the recent revelations adds another layer to the public discourse surrounding the ongoing scandal. The unfolding events and public relations contribute to the narrative, leaving room for speculation and debate on various aspects of integrity, relationships, and personal choices. Fulfilled his pledge to be a faithful and loving husband. But according to Tasha Kay, he hasn't ceased lying to Remember the fuss about Kevin and Aniko? Kevin's ex-wife Tori said Kevin cheated on her with Aniko when they were married. It got stirred up by Aniko's 2017 Instagram post saying she'd been with Kevin for eight years, but he'd only been divorced for six. So is Kevin doing the same thing to Aniko? Just karma in action? But with the scandal making headlines, Aniko shared a post on her Instagram story that read, The level of IDGAF I reached this year is crazy. It's hard to tell from that mysterious post whether she's okay with Kevin being a repeat cheater or if she's just fed up with the whole cheating situation. What do you think? Is there a possibility that Aniko might end things with Kevin given the cheating accusations? Or is she aware of it and choosing to stick around? Share your thoughts on Kevin suing Tasha Kay and his ex-assistant for the juicy details in the comments section below. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.